your spectacular specialist shuttle. Let's get together for a huddle, but not too close. Got to keep the bubble. Let's start learning. Come on, let's hustle. We fit together like a puzzle. Library, music, art, PE. It's the super spectacular specialist shuttle. Everybody. Welcome back. I hope that you had fun last week completing the Mr. Holtz hurdles because this week I have 11 new challenges coming your way. These are called challenges for a reason and you're going to find some of them to be really difficult. Whether it takes you one try to complete or it takes you 20 tries and you still don't complete it, remember to keep on trying. That's right. Everybody say, don't give up. Yeah, these are challenges and they are supposed to be difficult. They help you grow, they help you become better, and they stretch your abilities. If you don't have uh, access to some of the resources we need that I'll mention in the challenges, or you're not in a good space to complete these now, remember that you can always access it later through our Google Classroom. Um, so you can give them a try on another day, later in the day, whatever works for you. Either way, I hope that you have fun giving these challenges a try. Enjoy. For the human knot, you'll have to lie down on your stomach side, cross your legs and grab your feet and complete one full turn. Good luck. For quick hands, you'll need three small objects shaped like a ball. I'm gonna put one in my pocket to start off in level one. Take the ball, cross your arms, and drop and catch. It's a little bit easier if you'll cross your arms and then toss the objects up and then catch. Oh, or you should catch. For an additional challenge, take out the third ball, toss them all up and try to catch all three. For the fold and hold challenge, you'll need a layer of any type. When you have your layer, go ahead and fold it and place it in front of the chair. Your knees go up on the chair and your hands go right over the layer. The objective of this challenge is to get the layer onto your body while holding that position. Good luck. In plot twist, you'll need a book of any type. Bonus points if it's Tom Brady book. For this objective, you'll have to balance the book on your hand and rotate it two times so it gets back to its starting position, but without moving your hand. Watch this. Once you've got that, try going in reverse. Once you've done both of those, step it up to level two, where you toss another object onto the book, trying to keep it balanced as you do your rotations.
Head down is a test of flexibility. Spread your feet and put two fists on top of each other. Put those fists on the ground and try to touch your forehead to your hands without lifting your heels. Keep those heels on the ground at all times. This is important. After two fists, go to one fist to make it a little bit more challenging. If you can do one fist, try no fists at all. Try to touch your forehead to the ground, which I cannot do, but that's okay. In foot toss, you'll need rolls of toilet paper and a basket of any type. Lie down on the floor with the basket above your head and the toilet paper at your feet. Let's do a warm up where we just use our feet to put it right into the basket behind us. This time use your feet to fling the toilet paper into the basket rather than just dropping it in. Make it more challenging by moving the basket back. Make it even more challenging by trying this laying down on your stomach. I couldn't even get one. For basket toss, you'll need rolls of toilet paper and a basket. Once you put your basket down, stand right next to it, take one step back. You'll place one toilet paper roll there, another step back, and another goes down, and so on and so forth. Start at the first roll, tossing it into the basket. Once you make it, you step back and try the same thing. If at any point you miss before you finish your last toilet paper roll, you have to start back at the beginning. In the toilet paper juggle, try to copy me as I toss and catch the toilet paper in various ways. This time you're going to toss two of them up, swapping positions with the end and the middle. Watch this.
In the tower, you'll need to start with three rolls of toilet paper. Once you place them on the ground, your objective is to take the bottom roll of toilet paper from the tower without it falling over. Once you take one out, you'll have to do it one more time so there's only one left standing. Remember, if any of them fall on their sides, you have to restart just like this. For balance and bend, you'll need four rolls of toilet paper. Place one roll in front of you, one roll on your left, one roll on your right, and one behind you. You'll balance on one leg as you try to pick up each roll and add it to the tower that you'll hold in your hand. For level one, you can move in the middle and rotate as you pick up each toilet paper roll. Reset and get ready for level two. In level two, you have the same objective, but this time you cannot move that foot that you're balancing on. It has to stay in the same position the whole time. <laughs> 